covering his eyes over here. <laughs> you don't have to swallow oh, it. I'm going to swallow it. <laughs> I'll do this one very, um, just rather slowly for you, just kind of as a warmer upper. Teaser. Teaser. My name is Dan Meyer. I'm one of the last few sword swallowers left in the world today. And I was honored to receive the Ig Nobel Prize in Medicine at Harvard University in 2007 with Dr. Brian Whitcomb for a little paper we wrote called Sword Swallowing and Its Side Effects. Now what I'm going to try here is three times more dangerous than regular sword swallowing. Okay? First of all, folks, I'm going to impale myself with a sword. Well, I, I was sent to an x-ray of a sword swallow by Dan Mayer, president of the Sword Swallows Association International, which I thought was a bizarre organization. And I'm a radiologist, a hospital radiologist, so I'm used to looking at x-rays. And so lots of questions that um, would, most people would think about sprang to mind as how did these people do it, how did they learn, how far did they get the sword down. And so that tickled my interest. Danger number one, I'm going to try to drop the blade into my body with no hands. Just let it drop down into my body. She's already cringing over here. I'm not even doing it. <laughs> Sword swallowing has been going for 4,000 years, but uh, nobody has done any um, comprehensive survey on sword swallows. So we got quite a lot of interesting and unique information uh, from the study. Danger number two. I'm going to attempt to double my body directly in half and bow. <laughs> hopefully without impaling any internal organs. And I'll come around like this so you can see all the way down the blade, all the way down to the pit of my stomach, okay? One thing that really struck me was how committed they had to be to learning, and they would spend a long period of time sticking their fingers down their throat to desensitize their palate. Uh, then they would use a range of objects, toothbrushes, knitting needles, um, bayonets, um, um, medical catheters, uh, anything you can think of, paint brushes, putting down their throat. Danger number three. I'm going to have a total stranger extract the blade from the pit of my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do this, can't you? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> the side effects of sword swallowing, there are often injuries involved while people are learning sword swallowing, usually in the first several months of learning. More dangerous injuries can in include perforations or punctures of the esophagus, of the stomach, uh, internal bleeding, peritonitis, pleurisy, uh, fluids around the lungs and heart, uh, a number of different things. We learned that 25 people had swallowed more than one sword at a time. Most sword swallowers only swallow one sword. Some have learned to swallow two swords. Uh, only five had swallowed more than five swords at one time. Whatever you do, don't scrape it up my backbone. Don't go brrrr up my backbone. <laughs> and this is a photo of me in 2005 swallowing seven swords at once. The most I've ever swallowed at once was eight, and I'm working on ten now. <laughs> Injuries. And the main side effects of sword swallowing, um, well, the most important side effects, are perforation of the gullet. And six of our sword swallowers had perforated their bowel, and three had probably perforated, although we weren't able to confirm that. And whatever you do, don't go like that. Okay? <laughs> That's a real pain in the butt, okay? <laughs> in some cases, for sword swallowers who swallow neon tubes, if the tube explodes, there's a lot of different possible dangers. We generally have from four to six or seven serious injuries every year around the world from sword swallowers who end up in the hospital. It's three times more dangerous than regular sword swallowing. Three times more dangerous than regular sword <laughs> The other major complication is bleeding. Uh, some of the sword swallows had major hemorrhage. Uh, one sword swallow lost half her blood volume. Uh, others had, had more minor hemorrhage. We know of 29 sword swallowers who have died over the past 150 years from sword swallowing injuries. And surprisingly, 
uh, we found no sword swallowers who have ac acid reflux uh, problems or upper digestion problems. That was a surprise. How about you? No, I don't have any problems at all with any acid reflux or any uh, uh, internal uh, upper GI problems, no. Okay. People often ask me, why, why do a study on sword swallowing? It just seems obvious that sword swallowing is dangerous, and it is. So to most people, it seems like a ridiculous study. For sword swallowers, over the past 4,000 years, nobody had done a legitimate medical study. For us, it's, in t it's hugely valuable. Scientists, doctors, the medical community, and sword swallowers have worked together for the past 200 years uh, where they've used the sword swallowers as uh, guinea pigs for medical experiments. And this is another way of us working together with the medical community to provide information to them, data to them, that they can use when treating other sword swallowers. That's sword swallowing. The most dangerous side effect is or could be death.